Hello everyone, happy Ipsy day. All right, last month I had gotten, um, first thing, this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Um, I used this once. It was so painful. I don't think it was worth it. I have a Bite Beauty one that's semi-painful. It's more cinnamony, cinnamony. Anyway, um, and that one at least doesn't do the intense burning for 15 minutes. And then not only did this burn, but it actually like broke my like skin out all around my lips. I will not be using this. I will set it because I only used it once. I will set it in my like bin of stuff that friends and family can look through if they want it. But I am going to give people a watch out before you try it kind of a thing. Yeah. So that's not a recommend in my book, but I do have really sensitive skin. So maybe somebody else might not. And I have a fairly low pain tolerance as well. So, you know. All right, next was the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Um, I only used this a couple of times. I'm not really quite sure what it's supposed to do. It was a nice smell, um, like really nice smell. Um, and it was like a nice cream. I put it in after my shower. Um, I don't know. But I don't know what it did. Sorry. All right. Next was this Coastal Sense um, eyeshadow brush, and it was this like fat fluffy one. I really like these fat brushes for my like powder highlight shade underneath the eyebrow. I think these are the great shape for that. I like the fluffy ones because they don't pack on too much shadow. Um, and I thought this was no exception. This is a good one. Um, I will definitely keep this in my rotation. I have a few of this size but like I said in my last video I run out of those really fast and they always need to be cleaned so I'm excited to have another one in rotation. Next was the Uthermel Avene uh, Serum Hydrate and I really liked this. I put this on after my night moisturizer and it was a little different than most serums. It comes out kind of like a almost milky clear cream and it's pretty thin um, but it's still not like serum texture, but I liked it. I thought it was nice, made my skin really soft, didn't feel greasy at all. Yeah, I kind of liked it. Next was this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Blush in the color Autumn Glow. And I loved this. I thought it was beautiful. It's kind of that cross between a blush and a highlight shade. Um, and I actually really like those. I have a few that I have kind of in my rotation. Um, and I'm going to just, you know, keep using this. I like it. Yeah. Only thing with the mineral powders like this is they are a little bit messier, but that doesn't really bother me. So I don't know, just something that if it bothers you. Yeah. Um, I thought it was, you know, decent staying power. I wouldn't say it's like 24 hours or anything crazy like that, but it was good. Yeah. Overall, I thought it was a really good, um, box. I like trying new things. Even if I don't like something, I still like trying them. So all right, moving on to this month's bag. Ooh, a black magic. That's so cute. <gasps> Look at this bag. It's like a metallic -y pink, which I already love. And then it's got little like cute Halloween things on it. Oh my God, this little witch is adorable. And the cat, I love cats. Oh, candy corn. I love candy corn. I don't know what all I hate about candy corn is going on lately. <gasps> Oh my god, the zipper is like a little ghost and then it has hearts for eyes. And then it has hearts for eyes. That is so cute. Oh, I love it. So, so, so cute. All right. First thing is Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. Ooh. Ooh, it's really long. Wow. And it looks like, yep, it's a felt tip and it is really fine. Actually, I was just thinking that I'm probably going to do like a big top eyeliner for Halloween and all and all the ones I have open right now are not the super fine ones. So I'm excited. I hope that this has good staying power. It says waterproof. It is very fine and it's nice and black. So I'm going to give that a couple of goes before Halloween. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Next is Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely Rose ball wow this looks like a really good size too 
I don't know if I've ever smelled this. Wow, that is incredible. Ooh, it smells nice. I'm gonna have to give it a go. I already put perfume on today, so I'm gonna have to give it a go maybe tomorrow. Next is Cabana Boy by The Balm Cosmetics. I already have this in full size. It is a beautiful blush. I'm gonna pass it on to somebody who will appreciate it, but I still love getting these because that means the balm is getting into other people's hands and it's one of my favorites and more people should love on it. All right, next is Adis New York Organ Organic Infused Nail Lacquer in Liquid Chrome. Ooh. It is like a dual chrome of that like purpley green. Oh my God, I am so excited to try that. That's gonna be so cool. I like this bottle too. It's like very substantial. Oh yeah. Like a normal size brush. I always like to look. Sometimes I like those like really fat ones. Those are easy to do your nails. Excited about that. And then my last thing is, um, Beauty Basics in the color Satin Taupe. It looks like it's an eyeshadow. Wow, it's very sizable, that's for sure. Ooh, it is like a beautiful shade. Oh my God, it's super creamy too. Beautiful, yeah, coppery, taupey. Wow, it has just got some sheen to it. I love it. I am very excited to try that. It was really soft, but no like kickoff. So that's crazy. It's almost like borderline cream. That's how soft it is. So excited about everything in this box. Um, one thing that I tried, I don't care. I still am excited about it because like I said, I love it when things are in there that I love. That means other people are trying them. Um, not that I don't want it to be something that I've never tried, but still. All right. Well, that is everything that I got in this month's Ipsy bag as always. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.